If you're watching this, then that means you saved my life. Here's three quick facts to say thank you about the cuttlefish. Fact number one, there are over 100 different species of cuttlefish. Despite their name, they aren't fish. They're an intelligent invertebrate that's in the same class as octopuses called cephalopods. The largest is the Australian giant cuttlefish. In their three year lifespan, they can reach over five feet in length. That's a big cuttlefish. <laughs> they gather in huge numbers to breed. Imagine going in that ocean where five foot giant cuttlefishes are gathering. Imagine them sloshing around, bumping into them. They're all squishy, getting their juices all over the place and they're about as big as you. Ugh. Fact number two, the cuttlefish has three hearts. Two of the hearts pump blood to its large gills and one circulates the oxygenated blood to the rest of the body. I mean, yeah, a giant five foot jello body would need all that help. Fact number three, they're known as the chameleons of the sea. They can rapidly alter both the color and pattern of its skin. And this helps them blend in more with the surroundings to protect them from predators. They have specially controlled pigmented organs called chromatophores. And these allow them to change their appearance in response to visual cues. Now the myth is that chameleons actually change their color to blend in with the surroundings. They don't. Since their natural base color typically is like green or brown, they already blend in with the tree leaves and the bark. They mostly change color to regulate the body temperature and also to display their mood and emotional state. So the cuttlefish should be the cuttlefish of the sea and not the chameleon because they sh on the chameleon. The cuttlefish can change in an instant to correctly match their background. What sea creature should I cover next?